Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I created this soft winged liner look. So let's just get started. For primer, I'm using Laneige's new glowy makeup serum. It's hydrating, long lasting, and good for all skin types. It's got a gel texture to it and you can wear it on its own or under makeup. And it gives a really nice glow to the skin. For eye primer, I'm using this one from Fenty Beauty. And for foundation, I'm using this one from Bite Beauty. It's their supercharged micellar foundation and is one of my favorites. It has amazing coverage but doesn't feel heavy at all. Then I'm using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer for a little extra coverage, just going over my under eye area and my hyperpigmentation spots. Then I'm going to lightly set everything with Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. For brows, I'm filling them in with Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. I've been growing my brows out to give it that bushier look and have been using this brow cream from M Cosmetics to finish off my brows. It helps separate the strands and keeps my brow hairs lifted throughout the day. For the eyes, start with a shade that's close to your natural skin tone. I'm using this shade from Fenty Beauty called Nookie Rookie. Just spread it all over the lids. This is going to help with the blending later on. And this look is actually pretty difficult because it requires a lot of blending, patience, and different kinds of brushes. Next, take any black shade and with a winged liner brush, draw the bottom of your wing. This is going to act as your guideline. For this look, I'm actually going a bit above that outer corner and creating a flatter line than usual. Now I'm taking a warm brown shade and applying it over the guideline, along the lash line, and into the inner corner. Using a small flat brush here gives you more precision and color payoff. Now I'm using this e.l.f. brush to help blend the shade upwards to give it a soft, diffused look, especially in the outer corner. When it comes to the inner corner, you'll want to keep the colors closer to the lash line. Next, I'm taking a darker brown color on a denser rounded brush and applying it to that outer corner and along the guideline. You don't have to bring it towards the inner corner. Then with the e.l.f. brush, I'm blending that shade upwards again. Lastly, take the black eyeshadow and apply it to the outer corner. I'm using a thicker liner brush so that I get more color payoff. And then with a fluffier brush, I'm going to blend it just a bit. Using all these different shades help create a soft and defined look. Now with a little bit of concealer, I'm going to clean and define the wing by going underneath that guideline I drew. This will help remove any fallout. Then with a brown or black pencil liner, tight line the upper lash line. I look crazy here, so I'm gonna go over this quick. For lashes, I'm using Ardell's Demi Wispies. It has a nice flare to it at the ends, which will accentuate that wing. Now I'm just going to contour my nose and face. For blush, I'm using a neutral matte shade. For highlight, I'm trying this one from Kaja Beauty. I thought it was a neutral enough shade to match with my cooler hair and warmer skin tone. For a lip color, I'm using this gloss shade from Mented. I've been really into glosses lately, but I think a matte lip color would look really nice with the matte shadows as well. And here's the final look. Hope this was helpful and that you're all taking care of yourselves. I will see you all soon in my next video.